Titans. The Titans. The Hating Titans. The Hating uh, Titans. Oh, there we go. What so, up, YouTube? I didn't mean to cut you off. We having some technical difficulties. But yeah, it's all good. We rolling now. It's good. <laughs> Everybody tuned in. YouTube YouTube. The building. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, the Panthers 9 and no man. We got um, the Redskins got the tomorrow. Red skins tomorrow and, uh, I want to say it's going to be an easy one, but you never know. Any given, any given Sunday. Scans playing good ball. Though. They playing okay ball, man. They, they, they I just don't, I just don't want to be. Um, don't want to overlook them. Yeah, you, you don't want to underestimate nobody like that you know, yeah. when, when they ain't really doing what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody. And they on, um, they on top of their division, man. Eh? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they, they are on top of their division. Of, um, the Giants. I know it ain't the Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they they one off too. I know that. Yeah, I know that much. Yeah. It's all good, man. We go um we go see if we can keep that going. Yeah. Shout out to the Panthers again. The Panthers, baby. As usual, the Panthers, baby. D E M Panthers. D E M Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of shout outs I wanna to get to, man. I didn't give them out earlier. Um all right. I wanna give a special shout out to the homie Matthew Parks and um he been holding me down, man. What up, Matt? Matt, real cool peoples. And my homie Tim McLaughlin. He's really been holding me down. He's been trying to get the word out. What up, Tim? Um, if you're on Facebook, man, show him some love, man. He has his own um uh, he has his own page. He's trying to he's really trying to get some support for black businesses right now. And um, you know, independents like myself, like Tory G, um, and Notorious VJG and Rocky Ray. He's trying to get the awareness out there and just get the word out, man, that we're trying to do something. One long day. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything just like blending together. Yeah, it's, yeah it's I feel like, like that too. Man. I don't even know. It's Saturday, bro. I think it is. We do the show on Saturday, yeah, right? It's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know no more. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's cool. Man. That man, I'm busy. So. Yeah, job security. Yeah, no I doubt. like job security. No doubt. That's what's up, man. Um, my week was decent. I, um, I actually talked about it a little bit, and actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get into a couple. Like, not even, well, I really, I'm not really, really doing stories today. Mm -hmm. I kind of just want to raise awareness for a couple things that's going on in Durham. Right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the uh, frontier. So speaking of Durham, um, so shout out to the um, Central. They beat A and T today. Shout out them Eagles, baby. D E M Eagles. They right up the street, not D E M. <laughs> <laughs> them Eagles. Them Eagles. <laughs> Shout out to the Eagles, man. No yeah. Like I said, anytime, anytime an NC team win, man, it's a good life. Especially Durham. Yeah, Durham. especially in Durham, baby. Yeah. We took a hit with Duke earlier, and Carolina took their hit too, so yeah. it's all good. Essentially, y'all holding us down right now. I appreciate that. No doubt. Appreciate that win. No <laughs> but yeah, I want to go ahead and get into um, a couple things that's happening in Durham that a lot of people want to know anything about. Um, mm -hmm. Last Friday, I went on a field trip to this place called The Frontier mm -hmm. in RTP. And um, I didn't even know it was there. It was, it's one of those things where, but going there, um, it opened my eyes to a lot of, mm -hmm. of um, the possibilities of what could happen in Durham. Basically, The Frontier is a, it's kind of a, it's a meeting hub mm -hmm. for creative individuals and, mm -hmm. well, creative technical individuals. Mm -hmm. So it, most of the spaces are free. It, it's the old, um, I think it's the old IBM building. Oh, where? Yeah, right off of uh, 54. I see. It. Yeah, it's the old IBM building off 54. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they just let anybody come in. Now, it sounds real sketchy. <laughs> It sounds it, it sounds really sketchy to just let anybody come in. Yeah, anybody? Yeah, I mean, but I think you have to have kind of sort of kind of some kind of prerequisite, and you have to fill out like a like a application and stuff yeah. to actually come into the building. Yeah, and actually, agree. yeah, they don't want people coming there strapped over no bombs on them or nothing. But yeah. um, when we went, and I don't well, I, I really can't say it's like trade secret or anything because I don't know these people, but. Yeah. They they are developing so much technology in that building. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, man, because you go in and you just see a bunch of um you just see a bunch of what we call nerds, quote unquote. Yeah. And I feel like I'm kind of a nerd. Yeah, you are. Uh, yeah, I'm a nerd. I'll take it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean it's a lot it, the, the people in them, man, they're they're developing 
the future, mm -hmm. the wave of the future. And that's and I think it was a, a good thing for those kids to get in there and see exactly what goes on because of course she's in the STEM program. We talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. It's good for them to get in there and see exactly where they can go with mm -hmm. this STEM program. Yeah. They had the they had the people in there that's developing VR, virtual reality for next gen systems. Oh, right. Yes. That's what's up. And it's amazing just watching them. And it's really just, you just really just watching them bounce ideas off of each other. Yeah. And that's pretty much all it is. You got a bunch of creatives in there. You got people in there filming um, commercials for YouTube, filming real commercials. Mm -hmm. It's open to the public. And they really just want to get people from different walks of life in so they can all, everybody can bounce off of each other mm -hmm. and quite possibly come up with the next big thing. Yeah. And to me, that's that's amazing. It's a, good look. it's a real good look, especially for Durham. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good look for Durham. I mean, it's a lot of startups here, mm -hmm. but you when you start getting minds that think alike uh, together, yeah, man, you ain't no telling what can happen. If I say anything can happen, anything can happen. But it just it's, it feels like it's a really amazing environment. Mm -hmm. If you guys get a chance, um, research it. Um, the Frontier RTP.com is the website. Um, just go and check it out. Actually, it's RTP.org, um, the Frontier. Um, just go and check it out, man, and you won't be you won't be disappointed. Right. The Frontier is a good look for Durham. It's a good look for the world. Yeah. But especially being here, well, people don't feel like they have a lot of outlets. Mm -hmm. It's a really good look for Durham. I was really... Um, yeah, that's one thing I really wanted to talk about this week. That's what's up. Um, I do want to talk about, and this is really early. I'm going to go ahead and I'll leave that the, the frontier alone. But this is really early. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk about another event that's happening in Durham this summer coming up. But we got to get through the fall and winter, y'all. So you got to be a little patient. <laughs> <laughs> um, people that know me, they know that I'm kind of... I'm a I'm kind of a mock musician, I guess. I love music. I love yeah. I'm a, I'm a mock musician. <laughs> Curry. <laughs> I love music, and I love um, I love the way music is created. And I am very pleased to announce, if you don't know, Moog Fest is coming to Durham in 2016, from May 19th through May 22nd. Mm -hmm. Moog Fest is going to invade Durham. Now, that might not sound like a lot. <laughs> if you don't really know about, if you don't really know about music, and if you don't really know about um, just just the creation of music, if you are a creative individual and you make music, you know who Bob Moog is. Bob Moog makes uh, modular synthesis. Anything you hear on the radio now, most likely came from something Bob Moog did. It's two big names in music, when it, especially when it comes to urban music and um, electronic music, like EDM, drum and bass, all that stuff. It's two big names, Roger Lynn and Bob Moog. Mm -hmm. um, and Bob Moog, to me, is probably a little more important than Roger Lynn. I mean, he did create the drum machine, mm -hmm. but um, the Moog is an amazing piece of equipment. It's, it's super expensive. You probably can't get one for no cheaper than like three thousand no, dollars. It it? It's a mold keyboard. Oh, keyboard. Okay. It you basically create sounds with this keyboard. He figured out a way to make sounds off electrical currents. <laughs> he he figured out a way to make synthesis off electrical currents. So pretty much anything you hear right now that's on the radio is a child of Bob Mold. Um, they created Mold Fest after he died. Actually, it was, I think it was before he died, but he died in Asheville. Mm -hmm. So the past like maybe four years has been going on in Asheville. Oh, okay. So it's it's kind of been kind of in a in a in an area that everybody don't really yeah, you, they don't really rock with Asheville like that. If you went Durham, Raleigh, Chapel, you don't really go to you don't go to stuff like that. Yeah. Just the fact that that's coming to Durham, it's going to be an influx of people. And not just regular people. I hate to call people regular people. 
Because that sounds like I'm like <laughs> putting people in a weird little box. Everyone but, else is mute. Yeah, well, just... everybody else is just whatever. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds so snobby <laughs> to say that. Yeah. But um, you're going to yeah. have a bunch of creatives in one area of Durham. If you are a musician in Durham and you don't know anything about MoFest, you are not a musician in Durham. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. Crazy. Mo Fest is a huge event. And um I'm giving people that as of now. Um I know I know a lot of people I work with, they they go to it all the time. Mm -hmm. they, they they do the Asheville thing. Mm -hmm. Um a lot of people here don't really know about it. So in May, if you are if you're you're you your you if you are <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you are interested, <laughs> Moldfest is coming to Durham. And that's a big deal for Durham, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Um and so it and, and I know um my, my man Toon and Law, the real law, they do um oh man, what's the name of the event? The hip hop festival? Summit. Yeah, the hip hop summit. Mm -hmm. They do the hip hop summit, which is a good look too. That's a dope look because they're um, they, they're just looking out basically, yeah. but an, an event like Moldfest shows what could happen. Now now it's coming to Durham. I want y'all I don't want y'all to be acting up when they come <laughs> because I want them to keep coming to Durham and you know keep generating interest because when you have events like that coming to a city like because Durham is not a big city we're, we're kind of a we're not even a mid level. Mm -hmm. We're still kind of a small city, but when you have stuff like that happening in Durham, it's it's a good look because it shows that you can have other events in Durham yeah. that keep people occupied on a positive note. Yeah. So That's scaring scaring folks away. Yeah, you can't be scaring people away. Durham has a bad reputation, man. Huh? Yeah. And I don't, you know, I've been here all my life. I I don't see. Uh, maybe I'll put myself in that stuff. I do see it, <laughs> but <laughs> I see a lot of good in Durham. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and I'm pretty sure it's like that anywhere you go. I mean, yeah. that Mo Fest can come, they could set up something like that in Durham. Uh, yeah. That's a really good look, man. So, you guys look out for that. May 19th through the 22nd, 2016, Mo Fest. I actually, where you're at in Durham? It's going to be in different areas of Durham, oh, mostly okay. downtown. Mm -hmm. So, downtown is going to be thick. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be like you know they got like divines down there and mm -hmm. like different bars and everything. You're gonna have different like um, exhibits. Mm -hmm. You have different performances. It might be like twenty performances going on at once, no and you kind of just you just kind of hopscotch and want. pick what you want to you know. So it's pretty dope, man. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I know a lot of people. Uh, you say what well, the dates. Oh, that's Green Out Bandit. What's up, Aaron? How you doing? The date again is uh, May 19th through the 22nd, 22nd. Um, 2016. I'm just giving people a heads up now because tickets, they're selling tickets now, but they're kind of flying. You got seven months. <laughs> you got seven months to get it. They said the bullshit out of the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. That that would be a good look. Um, Maybe they'll bring something like that again. What's that? The bulls, the bulls shoot out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe they'll bring something like that again. If they see something like Mold Fest happening and, it, you know, everybody behaves and do what they're supposed to do, which I'm sure they're going to behave because mm -hmm. I think police really will be out for that. You know that. Yeah, you, so you liable to get your butt beat if you act up. They're gonna, they're gonna squad up. <laughs> yeah, they're going to squad up for real. <laughs> them, hang, them bracelets are going to be out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> But yeah, again, May 19th through the 22nd, if you can get to Durham, enjoy Mold Fest. Um, bring your kids, please, because I'm a big advocate for the arts and kids. Mm -hmm. And if they can see something like this, I think it'll be a really good look. A lot of these kids just don't, they, they don't have nothing to do, so. Yeah, they you just know, get in trouble. Get in trouble and, you mm -hmm. know, it is what it is. To do. Let's go get in trouble. <laughs> But yeah, man, that's a good look. That's those are two things that I like. Uh, the Frontier Mold Fest, I think, just in this area, are two two really cool things. Mm -hmm. um, you got anything? Oh, I have nothing. We're gonna talk about that top ten. I try to keep this show on a positive note. Paul, I didn't do that. 
We can do the baby. Oh, he owns. <laughs> I try to keep this show on a positive note. Um, Rolling is a Rolling Stone. Drop the top oh, ten. Billboard, Billboard dropped the top ten list of rappers, and I don't know why this stuff like gets under people's skin. Because I, I look at it like everybody's entitled to their opinion at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That's Billboard's opinion. If that's what they feel is the top ten, <sighs> so what? I mean, it is, it, is. it is something to talk about. I, I did watch a, um, did you watch the interview with Jada? Um, I think it was Jada. No, he did a joint with Combat Jack, but he did a joint with Sway. Mm -hmm. And he, he was talking about this whole top five. Because, you know, he just dropped the top five being yeah. away. And he, his whole, I, and I feel him because Jada, his whole thing was, it, dep it depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. It yeah, depends on how I'm feeling at the time. I can stay exactly the same. I think some people have have gotten to a godlike state when it comes to, yeah. especially when it comes to artists. You you're gonna automatically say Biggie, Pop, but you know, see that's the, that's the thing though. I'm not even tell everybody YouTube first because I'm not the biggest Tupac fan. But how do you leave Tupac off of a? <laughs> That makes no sense. To Top me. 10 rappers. I, I'm one of them people. I was young when the whole East Coast, West Coast, so I kind of fell into the trap. But the older I got, I appreciate Tupac a lot more than I did then. So I'm like, how do you leave him out of a... Tupac, did he, he did a lot. But, but at the same time, I feel like it depends on what you're basing it on. I don't, me personally, I don't feel like Tupac is one of the top 10 lyricists. So, let me ask you this. What is your criteria for a, a list like that? That's why I said I feel like you have to, you have to be specific with what, are we talking about quality of work? Or are we just talking about them as MCs? I'm talking, me personally, when, when you say that to me, I'm saying MCs. It, so if you say MC, like how Tupac wouldn't be on my top ten MC. Yeah, he probably would. Man, we just saying artists. Yeah, I definitely yeah. think he should, he's a top ten. Well, whatever the criteria was, mm -hmm. it, it didn't. A lot of people weren't happy. <laughs> I like like half of this. I agree with half of. It. Yeah, some people. Kendrick was on it way too yeah. early. Lauren Hill shouldn't be. On no, Lauren shouldn't be on that. Lil Wayne definitely. Oh should God, be. please, man, Lil Wayne should. That's be. nothing against Lil Wayne, but he's not top ten. Yeah, I don't think Lil Wayne top 100. Yeah, that's I, and that's just, that's just me. That's me personal. That's, that's my personal. That's what you're basing it on. Yeah, I just think he's trash personally. But <laughs> he's, I mean, I, I won't say he's trash. He's an artist. He yeah. does what he does. I just think subject wise, everybody on that list probably should be the, if you, if, especially if you're going off subject. And you're going off impact of what they they they've done or are doing. But see, that's the thing. Like when you say subject, it's like it's like you can't. Well, I can't see this. She said I agree. Okay, but I'm saying like you say subject. Like Red Man is one of my favorite cats ever. Red Man ain't never really. Yeah, he really don't. Substance. You're right, you right. But he, he's dope. You can't deny. He's Red not. Man. He's not a substantial rapper, but I don't doubt. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Say so subject wise, no one on that list uh, for the past 10, 15 years should be on that list. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I mean, it depend. It so depends you don't on. Feel like, who said that? That's Aaron. Aaron said new rap is garbage. Aaron, you don't feel like. Andre should be on that list. Three three stacks. She hadn't seen the list, so. The list is off the top of the head. It was Biggie's number one. It's Biggie, Jay-Z, Andre, Lauren Hill, Lil Wayne. I think Eminem's on the Eminem Nas. I, is Nas on there? I don't know. Yeah, Nas was on there. Nas, Kendrick. Uh I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah, it's somebody. Two oh, Ghost. Yeah, Ghost. Yeah, Ghost face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, surprised yeah. Ghost face. Yeah, three, but like she said, three thousand. He ain't really a new rapper, but he's been a he's been he, around for a while. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, but the, but the, I, I guess I guess what okay what I'm saying as far as the See, that's a that's a whole other subject. Are we gonna get into it? Uh, I mean, we got, we got time. Yeah, you, I, you know I talk about this stuff all Yeah, definitely. We can get into it. So, you know, I can't, I can't see none of that. <laughs> she said it is. It's a whole, it's a whole other subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a whole, you're right. That's a whole lot of dope cats out there. Yeah, it is. I think, I think, I think, I think they messed up the list because when you make stuff mainstream, mm -hmm. because I think they overlook, like you said, it's new cats, it's dope. Yeah. A lot of people just don't know it's new cats that's dope, though. Yeah. You got to remember back in our day, mm -hmm. there was a balance of whack and yeah, good. Yeah. I remember getting in the car listening to the whole Wu album on the radio. Yeah, exactly. So you, you just have to remember, man, like the, the, the time that we live in now, mm -hmm. they don't get the balance that we got. It's just the different time. I don't feel like it's delivered the same way. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not delivered for them to get, but it's not delivered the same way. It's yeah. not distributed right. the same way. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's that's what the balance. The balance is off. Mm -hmm. So when you say when you say the new rappers is what the new rappers you on the radio probably are. Oh yeah, they, most of them are gone. But it's a lot of new rappers underground. Is dope, like crazy dope. Yeah. Like I, 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 it's a lot. Like the Logic album, I just listened to that. It's, it's awesome. It's freaking. It's amazing. Just, and you know, I just like conceptual yeah. everything. I feel like when you're an artist and you're being conceptual, it all makes sense. But when you're just coming out and you money chicks, uh, and it's not cause, even just that. It's like it's just the way you go about doing it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Be it's it's yeah. not a, it's not too many ways you could say I got mad dough and I get mad chicks and be clever about it. Yeah, I mean be be halfway clever. Yeah. As far as my list, I don't think I could have a top ten. I can't mind with Chain. It's yeah. song that Mama with Chain. It's song that I have no problem. <laughs> I mean, but you know, I don't think I could have a top ten right now. So, um, I, I just don't like when they do stuff like. Cause I feel like that separates. It, it, you right? It's, it's discussion. It's yeah, just discussion. It's kind of about. But I feel like it separates a lot of people too, because the the, the, the time that we artists. well, no, not the artists. The the fans. Oh. I feel like it separates the fans. Where as to where, and, well, and, and even the artists. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of the new artists don't respect the older artists yeah. because of lists like that. They a lot of a lot of the new cast is probably gonna look at that list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do sound the same. All of us sound the same. <laughs> but um, a lot of the new cast will look at that list and not agree at all with yeah. anybody on that list, and yeah. they will take offense to them not being on that on that list. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um, but that's also man. I'm I'm bouncing back and forth with it. I feel like you got to look at the older folks and the younger folks because I just feel like. And I'm guilty of it sometimes, but I just feel like older folks, it's like nothing can top the past. Yeah, it's kind of this is kind this kind of off subject. Like I'm so sick. This I know <laughs> this is what's good. But <laughs> I'm so sick of everybody down at what the Golden State Warriors are doing because they're so scared they're gonna surpass something the Chicago Bulls did. And even if they do, you still gonna have people. <sighs> they would have never beat the Bulls. We yeah, don't know. Yeah, it's we, no we kind of The only off. way we will know that is on NBA 2K. <laughs> too, so. But I'm saying it's like, and I feel like that applies to hip hop and whatever. It's like you can't. You have to be. You have to give people their props, man. Right? Like, thanks for joining, baby. We'll see you later. Yeah, um, like, yeah, you can't be. You can't be closed minded. Yeah, you have to, like, when it comes to art, you can't be closed minded. And I and you know I, I feel like that's an entertainment entertainment art field sports. I think that's a part of the arts too. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. you can't be closed minded at the end of the day. And I you know I just don't want anybody to feel like stuff like I don't feel like stuff like that should separate us at the end of the day. No, so um, if you let it, let it separate you, that's yes you always yeah you tripping. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that serious. <laughs> yeah, but the top ten list it is what it is, man. I. The people complained about the credibility of Billboard for making that list, and 
It is what it is. Everybody got an opinion at the end of the day. Yeah. So, just don't ask me to make a top ten list. But even the list, though, like, who... I mean, we mentioned Kendrick, and I say Kendrick just put the time period. And, like, he's dope. Yeah. I just don't have to take it too fast, so he's top ten all the time. And yeah, that's way too Outside fast. of Kendrick and Wayne, like, who shouldn't be on there? Lauren. Well, I said, I said Lauren. Yeah, Lauren. But, I, but Lauren, to me, is because of just she just doesn't have the body of work. Right, right. But skill wise, I'm yeah, like, skill wise, she dope. Yeah, she's well, dope. Like and then I feel like her album did a lot, e- even though it's just one album. Give me more than one. No, I'm just, I'm not saying, not I'm not saying for you. I'm saying like as far as inspiring people oh, to do yeah. other things. Okay. You know what I mean? I feel like she did a lot, especially for females. You you don't see a lot of it now. Mm-hmm. Be, but she showed that a female can do more than rap. Yeah. I, I can get on and I can sing. I can get on and I can talk about something substantial. I can get on and just express what type of person I am. Yeah. She did that. They, it, she did everything the dudes do. Yeah. You know great. what I mean? So, shout out to Lauren Hill, man. She was Drake before Drake. Yeah, she was Drake before Drake. She was Drake and... Drake, cut that check, man. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> she's drinking it. She's drinking it. <laughs> well, we we about thirty in, man. I got actually. I do want to give another shout out, man. We we go. We closing that out. Oh, before you do that, let me. Um, I did have one story. You know, I don't, I don't have nothing to look up on that. Oh, go ahead, man. We can, we can talk about it. You know, um, my wife. She um, showed me a story about a kid. I don't even remember where it was at. I'm so I'm so unorganized today. That's all right, man. Anyway, to make a long story short, um, <laughs> yeah, it was a kid getting bullied somewhere, and one of his classmates, you know, was like he was just sick of kids bullying him. So I think the kid he gave him some shoes, and I believe they were a pair. Of, I just thought that was dope. So he gave the kids some shoes because yeah, people were picking on them. And the kid was like, man, you can make me cry. Like, like really? Like, you just gave me some shoes? Like, That's a good look, man. I just think that's dope, man. It's like, people just bullying ain't cool, man. Nah, man. Bullies suck. You never know what people, <laughs> you never know what people are going through, man. So, right. Shout out to that person, that kid. Like, I'm sorry I don't have no names or nothing, but. Well, I'm pretty sure you could probably find it. Yeah, it's on YouTube. I'm sure it's somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I just just thought that was dope, though. I mean, like I said, you don't know what people are going through, so that kid could have been getting bullied to the point where he wanted to do something to himself or something. Right, right. I just thought that was dope. That's cool, man. Yeah, more kids should do that. Yeah, that's that's what's good for real. Yeah, so. definitely. Shout out to that kid, man. We got to get that name. Yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> kid. <laughs> He's so anonymous <laughs> right now. Like, yeah. shout out to that kid. Yeah, that, that kid that, is that this, gave yeah. them Lebrons away. <laughs> them Lebron. <laughs> that kid that gave them Lebrons. It's away. It's my fault. Man, I'm, I'm so I'm you. so unorganized. It's all good, man. <laughs> it's a good story though. I like I like to hear stuff like that, man. Yeah. I was telling my kids about this whole bullying thing and just social media in general, like, these kids don't realize that stuff stays there mm-hmm. once it's out there, like, and you don't know how that's going to affect those kids in the long run, just picking on kids, and yeah. it could motivate them, or, or it could mm-hmm. cause them to come in there and shoot the place up, yeah. so, that's true. y'all be careful, man, it's a, it's like that for adults, too, man, y'all be safe out there, man, yeah, no doubt, yeah, definitely, it's like them cats up in Paris, they don't tell them what was going on, them do up, man, tighten up. I, I hope they listen to what's good and get something out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah, that's a dope story. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to clear my throat. Uh, mm, before mm, we mm, go, mm, this guy. <laughs> this guy with his ad libs. <laughs> before we go, I told my homie um, Chucky Heron um, down in Charlotte and um, the homie Vinny Knuckles. They have a group called the Nighthawks. <clears throat> Um, last night was the album release party. Um, the album is called Banging Ton. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually saw them. I didn't get to talk to them. We went to the Ghost and Ratio. Mm-hmm. I saw them down there when we was there, but I didn't get to, I didn't get to all of them. Um, they real cool people. I know them from um, Ill Music Days mm-hmm. when, you know, they, they on Carolina Cuts. Mm-hmm. Um, Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, Tammy. I appreciate it, Mama. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, yeah, the Bangington, cool cats, man. Real cool cats. 
I listened to some of the joints. Dope album. That out of NC. Get it. Don't front. Support your locals, man. Oh, that's another thing. I kind of wanted to say this before I, before we went off. Uh -huh. The Patty Pies. Uh -huh. This kind of ties into my man um, Tim that I was shouting out earlier. Mm -hmm. But before I get in, get back into that. Shout out to um to Vinny. Shout out to Patty. No, no, oh, man. man. Shout out to Vinny. <laughs> 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 Vinny Knuckles, Chuck Harris, shout out to them cats, man. Um, the Bangerton is for sale right now. Um, go get that, man. They dope cats out of Charlotte. We, Charlotte's very own. Charlotte is our sister up in is up in Durham. You got you got our support, man. Anything you need, holler at me. Okay. Um, back to the the support. Patty pies sold two point five or whatever. Mm -hmm. Over the week, over this past weekend, based off social media, I guess, I guess they're putting that, they, they're putting that, that on social media. Mm -hmm. Yo, y'all need to stop playing, man, to support y'all locals, man. It's a lot, it's a lot of cats, and yo, right up your street, yeah. is doing the exact same thing she did. Just because she got a, a name, don't make it better. I know cats making fresh pies. You had to get your joint out of the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yo, support your locals, I totally, man. I totally agree with you. Support your locals. You don't you just because it's Patty LaBelle don't make it better. Yeah. Y'all gotta start supporting and, and there's no knock to Patty. She used her name to get what she had to get. No knock to her. But just imagine if you did the same thing. If she made one she probably made a million and some change in a day. Yeah. Just imagine if you did the same thing. It just sounds weird. Would y'all buy a Tory Pie? <laughs> I, just, I just wanna know, would y'all buy a Tory Pie? Yo, if you would buy a Tory Pie, man, hit me. <laughs> that just sound crazy. That sounds like a baby nickname. Would you buy it? <laughs> I'm just saying, would you buy it? Would you buy a Tory Pie? Who knows? At the end of Probably the day, not, support your locals, man. Y'all stop playing, man. I was talking to my man Spooky Raw in South Carolina. We was chatting it up. We was chopping it up on Facebook the other day. Mm -hmm. We on the same page. Shout out to Spooky Spooky Raw, man. And he was saying the same thing I was saying. Imagine if you took that. Imagine if you just supported somebody 10%. Not even go 100. Just 10% locally. Yeah. You could be providing jobs in your area. You could, It's a lot you could be doing. That you're not doing. Stop waiting for people to get a name and start support. You don't need a cosign for the support, man. I ain't even gonna get started. <laughs> That's a whole I know how you feel about it. Whole another show. But you know, it, it's just one of the. It, gets, it kind of gets on my skin, but at the same time, I mean, you know, I, just, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't know if if, if it's for us to get. Can I can I say something? Yeah, go ahead, man. You got you got time. It's kind of in the same vein, so. People knock Stephon Marbury for his shoes, right? But I'm like, and I and I, I don't have a pair of Starbucks, but they ju I just hadn't got around to it. But if they were like in my face, I actually don't think it's an ugly shoe. <coughs> like a lot of people are like, I ain't gonna buy those ugly shoes. But I'm like, they're 15. Like he's trying to look out, but yeah. people knocking him. It's because of the $15. But <laughs> that's the only reason. I, I, I don't agree with it. I don't it. understand that. Like, it's people it, people's it, mentality, man. It, people have to change the mentality of consumer. But people are and, always, I know, not even consumer, because you gotta buy anyway, so But they always complain this is what I don't understand of because people are always complaining about rich folks not trying to look out. And I'm yeah. like, this dude is trying to give. He's trying to sell a fifteen dollar shoe for kids. Can afford to buy. If they want to play basketball, they got something to play in. Yeah, just everybody play. can afford LeBrons and Kobe's and KD's. Like I just don't. I, I totally agree. Now I don't know if I would rock them casually, but I'm and I might. I'm just different like that. I don't care nothing about. I don't care what people think. Yeah. But, but I think I think that's the problem. People do care what other people Why? think. Why? Yeah, I don't think we gonna ever get that answer. Hey. So for for what's good, I'm just gonna get the word out that other people are doing it. Yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna try to have a couple of people on the show that's doing their own thing locally, 
and um, just give them the outlet to speak and just let everybody know what's going on with them because the you do have a market in your area. Yeah. It's a market for everything. You have a market in your area, so why not support it, man? Stop sending your money to Patty in Atlanta, man. Is she in Atlanta? I don't know where she is. Wherever she is. One touch changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever Patty is, let's stop sending your money to Patty, One man. One touch. Yeah, shout out to Patty LaBelle. Yeah, she, Patty, man. Yeah, she, doing man. A, she did her thing, man. Yeah, she, no I, I did, I, you know, I just, yo, just do the same locally, man. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, um, I think that's it, man. I don't think I got nothing else I want to really say. I kind of I went a, a negative route today a little bit. I kind of feel weird. Negative, man. Yeah, man. What's good? It could be what's good. What could be what's good? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're not putting out the negative. Oh, what's good. my gosh. So, I mean, Before I go, my word of the week is. Oh, hold on. Before you say that. One okay, shout, go ahead. shout out to um, some of y'all might listen to both shows. I just want to give a shout out to my niece, Victoria. For being the student of the month. <laughs> <laughs> that's the homie, man. That's it, man. That's one of good. That's that's Don's daughter. Yeah. So, shout out to Victoria. Keep doing your thing. That's notorious, baby. And notorious VJG. Yeah, notorious is that's my dude, man. I'm I'm proud of her. So keep She's doing, doing your thing, thing, Victoria. And all all my nieces. Yeah, I'll definitely. Keep doing your thing. Definitely. Yeah. That's what's up. No doubt. She'll be, she'll be even better if she learned what a palindrome was. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's a palindrome. <laughs> that's actually not the word. It's a series of words. Okay. That's a different way you can use it. But a palindrome is a word that you can say forward and backward and it's the same. Oh, okay. Like dad, mom. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. I'm trying to find a name that you can go forward and backward with. Name. Yeah, I'm. I think it's a couple. I think it's a couple out there. If I'm not mistaken, the um, the main character in the book Holes, his name was a palindrome. What was his name? I forget it. I forgot his name. I've seen a couple of words, but not names. I know a couple of words, but and they have a T-shirt. With his name it was. Let me see. I gotta find it real quick. But his name was, uh, I don't know his name. I forgot his name, man. Um, yo, was it, was it Stan, Stanley Yonitz? Stanley who? Stanley Yonitz. Yonitz baffled at Stanley. Yonitz? Yeah. Yonitz or Nitz? Nats. Yonats. Ah, I can see it. Stanley Yonats. I've never heard of that. That's time. a palindrome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the palindromes, y'all. I, I had this conversation with somebody a couple months ago. I'm really in the palindromes. Um, Shout out to the palindromes. Yeah, palindromes, they rock. <laughs> um, I can't really find, outside of the list that I have, I don't think it's, I don't think it's anything else out there. Mm. But it's like a list of palindromes online. Mm -hmm. That I looked at, I can't remember all of them, but um, it blew my mind. That's, 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 that's good. Explosion. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Palindromes, y'all. Oops, explosion. Get them in your vocabulary. You'd be a better person for it. All right, but so many. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I think I'm going to remember them eventually, but that's what's good with my word of the week. The drum season <laughs> has arrived. Oh man, so yeah, we're coming to the end of the show again. Before I leave, um, I do have a campaign up go cop a shirt, teespring.com backslash just plain old Don and see all one word. Go get a shirt again. I want to, I want to get more content up where you know you get a shirt, I make a little dough, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But it, everything's going into the show at the end of the day. Y'all ain't got to worry about me doing no GoFundMe and Splurging. Yeah, splurging out. I don't do that. I don't keep Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the Diddy thing, man. Huh? Diddy bop. <laughs> this mink coat. Oh, man. I <laughs> <laughs> Who don't put me in a mink coat? Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, really? 
lick it. It's, it's cold enough. Man. Nah, not yet. Not yet, but again, teespring.com backslash just plain old Don NC. Um, just plain old Don.com. Go check the website out. Check the campaign out. If you want to support, that'll be a good time to go ahead and do it. We're going to go ahead and close this thing out. Word. I am just plain old Don for just plain old Don.com. I am Tory G for everybody. There we go. This is What's Good, the What's podcast. Good. Thank you for listening, y'all. We'll be back next week. How? Peace. Peace. Deuces. I had thanked him. Hmm. I, didn't, I haven't been doing my quote.